Hello and welcome to another video lesson. My name is Bob and I will be your instructor. In this video lesson, we are going to create a document by using a template. We will also search for templates and narrow our search by choosing categories. Finally, we will start with a blank document. A template is basically a document that somebody has prepared for you. They have already entered sample information, formatted the document, added headers and footers, and made it ready for print. They have done all the work so that you and I can concentrate on the content. So, how do we create a document using a template? Well, by clicking on File, then New. Let's create a document based on a template. I'm going to click on File, and now I'm going to click on New. These documents that you see here are templates. There are many types of document templates shown. Some might be business letters. Some might be sample resumes. Some might be newsletters. There are many types of templates. Now in this lesson, we would like to create a resume. We can either use the arrow to go through this list, or you can use your mouse wheel to scroll through the list. Once you have found a document template that you like, just click on it. This screen shows you a large image of the document template. It also shows the name of the template, who created the template, a description of the template, and the size of the template. If this is not the template you wanted, just click on the large X in the upper right hand corner. If this is the document template that you wanted, click on this Create button. Now, sometimes this button will say Download. So let's click on this button to create a new document based on this template. As you can see, the author did a great job in formatting this document. We are free to change the text, the paragraph, and even images if there are any. After you have made your change, be sure to save your work. To save your work, click File, click Save. Now, click the location where you want to store your document. I'm going to save mine in Documents. Select the file name and type another name. Maybe I'll call this one Bob's Resume. And now, click Save. Now, let's close the document by choosing File and click Close. Now, let's try to find a template for a newsletter. So, we can see a list of templates by clicking File and clicking New. File new. Now this time I want to search for a template. So at the top of the screen I notice the area that says we can search by online templates. So let's click on that box and now I will type newsletter and hit the enter key or if you're on a Mac, hit the return key. Again, 
Once you find a newsletter that appears to you, just click on it. Now let's click on create to create a document based on this template. Ah, now that looks very nice. Again, I can change anything. I can change the text. I can change paragraph information. And I can even change this picture. This time, I'm going to close the document, but I don't want to save it. So I'm going to click on File. Now I'm going to click Close. Now, when it asks if I want to save it, I'm just going to click Don't Save. When you search for templates, the list can be huge. So, I want to show you how to narrow the list. This time, I will search for a business letter. Again, click on File. Click New. Now click in the search box, type business letter, and hit the enter key. I'm not sure how many templates Microsoft Word has found. However, if you look to the right, you will see a list of categories. Now the number to the right of each category name represents the number of templates that Microsoft Word has found in that category. As you can see, there are 239 business templates and 164 letters. This is a lot to browse through. So, I will narrow my search results by clicking on a category that best fits my needs. I want a business sales letter. So I will click on the sales category. And I am looking for a letter. So I will click on the letter category. Now I have narrowed the list to 14 different templates. Now if you clicked on the wrong category by accident, you can always click it again so that Microsoft Word will not use that category to filter your results. So I will click on Sales to remove the Sales category from the filter. Now I'm going to click on Resume and Cover Letters. I will click on Business and finally, I'm going to click on Design Sets. Now, I have 12 templates to browse through. This is a whole lot easier than browsing through hundreds of templates. Now, how do I create a document that is totally blank? You can choose any one of these documents at this stage and click create to create a document. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to stay here because now I thought I'd rather start with a clean slate. I would like to start with a document with nothing on it. So how do I do that? Well, click on the words home to return to the file new view. Now click on the first choice called blank document. In this video lesson, we have answered the question of what is a template. We have also covered how to view templates by clicking on File, New. You can browse through the existing templates or you can search the web for a specific template. And when you search the web, you can narrow your search 
by using categories. All right, take care, and I'll see you in the next test prep tutorial video lesson.